Hey everyone, uh, my name's Andy. My channel's Finding Value. If you like making money, subscribe to the channel. Love to have you in our community to ride this commodity bull market up together. I'm going to go over some energy sectors in this presentation and show you symmetry and mo momentum. So let's jump into the technical analysis charts that I've got and show you what I'm seeing and kind of what to expect. So symmetry and momentum, I look for momentum and symmetry in the charts. Uh, I'm going to show you some things in the charts that I see uh, with some of the companies that we own. Uh, I'm looking at these things with the backdrop of cheap valuations, large money flows into energy eventually, and market conditions support a bull market in these sectors. And that's kind of my paradigm of how I'm looking at these charts, uh, just to give you an FYI. So light crude oil. You can see I, I, I drew in this black kind of, we'll call it just line. And think of that as momentum. We had this gigantic amount of momentum coming up. And then we had a little bit of a pullback. Then we had less momentum, less pullback, less momentum, less pullback. It was contracting upward, saying, hey, look, I'm getting tired. I want to turn around. <clears throat> and what did oil do? It turned around. You get a nice big down day here. We have two little up days next to the big down day saying we've got more to fall. There's not that many buyers stepping in. So it, it popped on down here. Will this continue? Not exactly sure. Uh, but let's look at some of the companies that we owned just to see what those charts look like and what I mean by symmetry. And symmetry, usually on the way down um, the other side. So let's cut this in half in like June right here. This portion over here is going to look like the, the way up, I think. So you can see this large move down with not much resistance. The same thing happened on the move up. It went on up with not much resistance. And let's just say this is about right here. I mean, I know it's, it's offset a little bit. It's not going to be a perfect match, but the symmetry is going to be very similar or close. So you can see that this thing kind of came up, it pulled up, and then tanked. We pulled all the way up, and if we were going this way, you pull all the way up, and it's a mirror image, so we're probably gonna have a little bit of a pullback here, which we did. And remember, this isn't gonna be perfect, but we had a pullback here, and eventually, I think this is gonna go back up, just like it did here. So we're gonna have this pullback here, and I don't know if it's gonna come back here. I just drew this line in, saying that this is about the pullback. We'll have a little pullback here, and then if you notice, we kind of moved up quite substantially all the way to about $32, maybe. It's hard to read. Maybe we'll come on back a little bit and then we'll move all the way up to about $32 in a fashion. Maybe it takes a year, year and a half to get there. So maybe that's about the same time frame that it may get to $32.50, is about a year, year and a half. So I'm just looking at symmetry. Uh, most of the time, this downward movement is mirrored if, if this was a, a point here that you'd mirror this over to this side, that this is going to look very similar as it goes, goes on up. And that's similar uh, because of the buyers and sellers and where they're at. And I think that that relationship breaks down uh, the further you get away from it. So the more time that passes by, more uh, there's less people at those areas that still own the stock. So it does become a little bit less of an impact uh, the further you get away from the inflection point. Here's SM Energy on a short-term basis. Just to kind of show you this pullback, we had a large pull, you know, pullback here, this, this one day here, and the buyers had an answer. They came back, and then we had two small down days, one small up day, and then it looks like we have a reversal day. This may be a reversal here to move on up. So... This, is, this isn't looking too bad. Um, so we, we got to watch. We got to watch what it does tomorrow. Maybe we see a big bullish engulfing or another hammer or something like that. But it's actually looking more positive than I thought uh, yesterday. So that's looking good. Same with Centennial Development Resources. I'm talking about this symmetry that we're looking for in chart patterns. And remember, if there's people here that owned it and there's a lot of sellers, it may come through and then it hits a whole bunch of selling at this same area. And that's, a, that's what I think is happening. So if you're to take this point and you, and you use symmetry, you can see that this was a very large sell-off. Kind of popped up, came back. It didn't go back as far. And then we came through this area very quickly. 
and we're right almost to the same spot as here. I mean, it's not going to be perfect. And then we're kind of pulling back here, just like this pulled up. So it's, it's, it's almost acting like it's a, a very symmetrical uh, mirror image. If you were to rip, you know, rotate or flip this over like a, like a book. And I think where we're just, we're going to hit a bottom at some point here pretty, pretty soon and then move on back up and expect if this were to move very similar to this, I mean, you're looking at 20 something bucks in a little over a year time frame. I don't know if it's going to do that, but it, it possibly could. So uh, I would definitely not be selling oil to gold ratio is extremely cheap. And if it does act like a mirror and there's symmetry there, uh, we could see some very large gains over the next year, year and a half. Centella development looking in on it. <clears throat> so same, same chart. And if you notice, you can see the momentum here. I just drew a black line. It's a bigger move here, smaller move, smaller move. It's contracting. The momentum is slowing on this pullback. So I think we're getting pretty close to a turnaround point very soon. <clears throat> so that, that's good uh, if you're a holder of Centennial Development. And it's up to you if you guys want to cost average in. It's up to you. Uh, I can't give financial advice, but uh, what I would be doing is I would be looking for strength here to, to possibly pick up shares. Now I'm looking at uh, Encore Energy. So I'm focusing on the energy sectors. You can see this thing really pull up here. And it it almost matches the way this kind of moves up. It's very similar. The, the time frame, the steepness. So uh, this thing pulled back quite a bit here. Are we going to get another pullback like that? I don't know. Something to watch for. But I'm just looking for symmetry. This move, this coming down here looks very similar to how this went up. So it's very similar and the time frames are similar. So we may have a little bit of a pullback. Maybe. I Same with deep yellow. We got this kind of resistance area that we're trying to break through and we've got a lot of sellers here. So that's why we get this symmetry and it kind of matches each other sometimes. So we might do something like this, or maybe we're here where we kind of go sideways and then we're about to move on up. Uh, but we have to break through all these people who, who own the, the stock and who are potential sellers when the price gets back up there. So there still could be some, some sellers in this stock. This is Fission 3.0. Uh, looks like we got a nice, nice downtrend here that we're we broke out and kind of back testing, so Vision 3.0 doesn't look too bad. Uh, that might be one that I that I'm interested in. We got standard uranium. This thing is coiling up. You can not notice the wicks at the top here, little pullbacks right after it. So it's a pullback here, and then we got a pullback here. This thing's coiling up right into a, a pattern here. I, I like it in here. I like it in here. So it's pretty low. It hasn't moved too much off the bottom. I mean, it's moved a little bit, seven cents, you know, a 50% move. But if it breaks to the upside, this thing could, could look pretty good. Here's ISO Energy. Looking at this, we've got kind of this bull pattern. Again, look for symmetry. You know, this kind of move there and then this kind of move there. We broke out to the upside and maybe this thing pulls back. Maybe it doesn't. Uh, but I'm just showing you that it, that it broke its, its resistance line here. And we are pulling up, so if we break through this, it might back test. Maybe something to look out. UEC. You can see the momentum change here. Big momentum down, or you could even just use it from here to here. A smaller momentum down. A smaller momentum down, and it contracted right, kind of nice and smooth. And I circled this here. This was the COVID sell-off, and notice how it was only a temporary blip that came out of the this we'll call it chart pattern, and came right back in it. So it's structural. Uh, structural meaning that uranium is strong and that we need these uranium companies to produce and that they're going to go higher irrespective of short-term sell-offs. Uh, the short-term sell-offs are just, like here's here's the 2008-2009 sell-off. This is the, the COVID sell-off, that these are actually buying opportunities. Heck of, one heck of a buying opportunity. And we're moving on up. And let's zoom in here. <clears throat> now you can see this pull up that the momentum is slowing a little bit. And we do have a wick at the top. So we could potentially pull back. Maybe, maybe not. But 
The momentum is slowing, and I think we're probably going to need higher uranium prices for this to really launch. Uh, maybe we get it. And what's dangerous with, with being outside of these companies is that if uranium takes off, if the contract is negotiated, if something happens where the price really jumps, uh, I think these companies are going to jump. So it's just because we have these, these momentum and that the buyers are starting to equal the sellers at this price and could potentially pull back, doesn't mean I would be selling. I'd just be holding on, looking for an entry point, if you like Uranium Energy Corporation. I'm seeing the same thing in energy fuels with the wick at the top here, and then the momentum kind of pull, slowing down, and then the bearish engulfing, which means it, it could potentially pull back, maybe for a better uh, buying opportunity. Same thing with URG. You can see this momentum kind of slowing, and that's what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing the down days get bigger and the bolt. Uh, bearish engulfing here, wicks at the top. So I think there's a lot of sellers up here in relationship to buyers, which can put downward pressure on the stock a little bit on the short term. This is just short term basis stuff. Same thing with Can Alaska Uranium, dark cloud cover, that's what I have circled, and then the momentum slowing. And Vestas has it in the opposite direction. So we have like a shoulder, head, shoulder. Uh, the bottom of this is somewhere in here and it hit the bottom. We've got this nice kind of big move down and then a smaller move down and then a smaller move down. It's like the buyers are starting to equal the sellers. That momentum is slowing down and you can kind of think of the momentum as doing this right before it turns on up. So if you like wind energy, Vestas looks good right here. Uh, that's, that's what I think. Um, Gamisa, same thing. You can kind of see this these pull back, the momentum starting to slow and contract down. So that looks pretty good to contract down to a point. If it breaks to the upside, uh, that's where I would start looking at going long. And Interior Resources, I know some, some people were talking about um, some of the charts. This thing's a bullish engulfing here, looking great to go to the upside. Uh, I saw SWN as well. So some of the natural gas companies, some of the energy energy sector companies in terms of oil and natural gas, they're starting to turn around. They're putting in bullish signals to the upside. Uh, I'm quite surprised at how fast this thing flipped. And uh, with it, with these bullish engulfings, with some of the momentums that are slowing, uh, I would say that things are actually turning around. I know yesterday during one of my videos, I was saying, man, we be careful. This thing could fall apart. Uh, but this is actually reversed quite well. Uh, the overall stock market sold off in the morning and reversed very well throughout the day. So, uh, I mean, it's up to you guys, but these things are actually looking better than what I thought. Uh, I thought there was a possibility that the tech sector could, could, could really sell off, pull everything with it. And we, I'm not seeing that, at least not yet. Uh, and with these bullish engulfings all over the place, I mean, that, that, that looks like it wants to go to the upside. So uh, overall, the oil sector looks like it's recovering. We're seeing contractions down, which could potentially move to the upside. Uranium, uh, on a weekly basis, it's still showing that we have to go, it wants to go down. But these things are also in some of these energy sectors, which may provide some, some lift to them and some support. So we're getting mixed signals here. Um, on the daily basis, I'm seeing energy sector, a lot of them wanting to go up. Uh, on a weekly basis, we're, we're, we're slowly trying to, it wants to go down, but we are trying to turn this thing around on the, on the dailies. So let's see what happens. It's up to you guys and what you guys want to do. Uh, I would be buying some of them. Uh, Standard Uranium looks pretty good. And, and some of those kind of Uranium explorers that are down a little bit, uh, I might put a little bit in there. Um, and just ride it out. So it's up to you guys. If you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Leave comments below if you guys have any questions or comments. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.